everybody! This is the third app for Android which I am reviewing the performance for the Chuai Hi 12. Let's get straight into Infinite Painter. The first icon at the very top right hand corner brings up the main menu. Here we have some basic options which are New, Open, Save, Import, Edit, Export, Store, Classroom and Settings. I'm quickly going to show you the store. Infinite Painter initially comes with a 7 day trail for the full app which is loaded with loads of extra tools. I have gone ahead and purchased the full app after the trail. At time of purchase it was £4.88 which I think is fairly cheap for what you get. Unlike many Android apps, Painter is able to export in PSD format. This has a great advantage of being able to transfer your work to a desktop and keep all the layers allowing for further editing on more advanced programs. When creating a new document on Painter, the maximum canvas size is 5146 by 3259 but there is also a small bar indicating the ratio of performance to canvas size. I'm going to go for about midway. The second icon from the top right corner simply toggles the layer palette's ability to hide. Painter has pretty much all the essentials when it comes to layer properties. The ones I use most are layer clipping, blending option, opacity, alpha lock and merge which are all available on Painter. The lines produced by Chuai on Painter are really nice and smooth and the pressure sensitivity of the pen looks beautiful. I'll just quickly mention here about the undo and redo system. The undo is at the bottom left hand corner and redo on the right hand corner. Whenever either button is pressed, a slim bar shows up where the user can drag along the little circle to undo and redo multiple times quickly. It's quite a nice feature which has proven to be handy quite a few times. The app comes pre-installed with many brushes which are all categorised. I'm only showing a few here. I really love the watercolour brushes on Painter. The effect I get on here is like I'm using real watercolour paints. Just watch this carefully and notice how the brush has a bleeding effect to it. Applying pressure gives a stronger colour. Two colours can also be blended quite nicely. The touch gestures zoom and rotate work nice and smoothly on the Chuai with no lag. Aside from the many brushes which come with Painter, there is a huge database of loads of brushes available for download. It does take a while to load previews of all of them, but you can see a few of the top ones here. Now a small problem I have found which I think is caused by Chuai rather than Painter is that some of the pen category bushes which have what I would describe as blotches in the middle of the strokes. I notice it's only when the brush size is set to the larger end. Apart from the watercolour brushes I mentioned earlier, Painter has a blend tool located next to the brushes icon. It does a really good job of blending. Some programs and apps which have this specific blend tool can sometimes lag on Chuai, but with Painter I have never experienced lag. The final menu I wanted to show you is the icon next to the layers icon which looks like a compass. Hidden in there is a collection of tools. There's the tools for various canvas options, perspectives, symmetry, shapes, guides, selections and some general tools. Something I didn't notice in Sketchbook was the tool to reset the canvas to 100% scale and also reset the rotation, which Painter has. I find it really useful. Like my previous app reviews for the Chuai, I'll be drawing another carton of milk. But before I carry on, I want to show you how the Lazy Guide tool works. As with most non Wacom pens and tablets, the Chuai also has jitter when drawing slowly. Medibang has a line smoother function, whereas Sketchbook had nothing of the sort. Paint has a Lazy Guide where the user can adjust the amount of smoothness by clicking on the icon at the top left hand corner. 
The lines are much cleaner with no jitter but it's hard to use because the line is always about half an inch to one inch behind from the tip of the pen. Medibank wins hands down when it comes to line art over painter and sketchbook on the Chawai. The pen brush I am using on Painter is called Alexis and as you can see I kept getting blotches in the lines but as I sketched the milk carton using faster strokes I didn't seem to get any blotches. So I guess the idea is not to draw slow which is okay when sketching but not ideal for final line art. So I'm going to change to a different pen brush for this part. For those of you who may be wondering what the point is in buying the Pro version to get all those extra tools, I'll just demonstrate the Symmetry tool. A similar tool is available on Clip Studio Paint also. Tools like this can help a great deal when it comes to speeding up the workflow. I use the Symmetry line to draw the eyes but also could have used it in colouring the cheek blushing later, but you'll find I forgot to do that. Now I cannot express myself enough when it comes to showing how much I love the preset colour sets available to download and use on Painter. I'm going with a blue to purple to pink to peach gradient set. For the shading I used the watercolour brush and then later blended it all together with the blend tool. I'm also working with clipping layers to keep everything within the line art. I want to go back to the colour palettes really quick. The colour schemes available is endless. You can search for a keyword, for example mud, and it will come up with anything related to that keyword. I notice many artists like to flip the canvas. It is usually to spot abnormalities in symmetry or to get a better drawing position, a feature which is also available in Painter. A problem which has happened to two of the six projects I have drawn on Painter is that sometimes the app seems to have corrupted save data. I've literally just closed and reopened the milk carton project and look at this. It seems the base colour layer which the shading layers are clipped to is messed up. It's easy to fix up but when I close and reopen it's corrupt in exactly the same way again. When I opened the PSD file on Photoshop the same corruption appeared. After fixing up and saving the PSD in Photoshop I didn't get the corruption anymore when closing and reopening which was a relief. I went back to Painter to try and see if I could fix this problem. When I export as JPEG there is no corruption but in the Painter file and the PSD file it shows the corruption. After some messing around I merged the clipping layers down so that the coloured layer was just one layer. This seems to solve the problem. I don't know why but Painter didn't like the clip layers on the base colour layer, even though the line art had a blue solid colour layer clipped to it which wasn't causing any problems. Just as a side note, have you seen the speed paint for my Winter Snow Owl which I sketched in Sketchbook Android, then booted to Windows on the Chuai and finished the rest off in Clip Studio Paint? Well, I also transferred the line art to Painter a while back and coloured it in to see the difference that I get. It was very close to the result from Clip Studio. I didn't colour the line art but the shading was up to the same standards. Also notice how many layers I have here without it lagging. Overall Painter is as the name suggests, great for painting. I still choose to do line art in another app like Sketchbook or Medibank because of the occasional blotching on the lines. Other than that, the rest of it performs really well on the Chawai with no lags. It's definitely my favourite app for colouring. The interface is also minimalistic and comfortable to use. The next app I will be reviewing the performance of is Ibis Paint X. Until then, bye!